Hey y'all, Lita here again and welcome back to my kitchen. As you can see, I have my granddaughter Kayla with me again today and we are going to be showing you how to make banana nut bread. Right Kayla? Yes. So we're going to put the eggs in there, sugar in there. I can't wait to say that if I say that. Eggs in there, sugar, powder, <laughs> Egg, eggs, sugar, butter, and bananas. Banana nut bread. Right, Kayla? Yep, in this. Oh, and that's, this. Our, that's our cookbook. That's our recipe, isn't it? Yep, that's our recipe. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Kayla and I are ready to make our uh, banana nut bread, and she's going to be doing all the mixing, aren't you? Yep, yep. Think you can handle that? Yep. All right, awesome. So the first thing that we're going to need is a half a stick of butter, and I did soften this just a, a little bit. Uh, in the microwave because I want it kind of just a little bit uh, runny, not too much, but just a little bit. Uh, so we're going to add our half a cup of margarine. Okay, Kayla, you're going to pour, push that in for Nana. Good job, I'm get it all in there. All right, can you tell them how? Tell them we put in a half a cup of butter. A half a cup of butter. That's right. Now, to that half a cup of butter, we're going to add one cup of sugar. I'm going to say one cup of sugar. That's the sugar. One That's cup of sugar we're going to use, guys. Very good. Okay, and to that, what should we add next, you think? How about our bananas? Okay. Okay. Now, this is four bananas that um, is nice and ripe. And see so that when you smash them up with a fork, they're just going to just you know, smash up really, really well. So, um, I've got four bananas in here and they're smelling good, aren't they? Yeah, very good. I knew this would be the scooping out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and we're gonna add our two eggs. So where's our eggs, Kayla? Very good, you go ahead and put it right in there. Very good, awesome job. Okay, and we're going to add one and a half cup of flour. Where's our flour? Very good. What's great about this recipe is everything just goes right in here and you mix it up and you are done. Well, we're not ready quite for those yet, but soon, okay? We're going to add a half a, tea, ta half a teaspoon of baking soda. Can you tell me which one of those is baking soda, Kayla? That's baking soda. That's right. So that's a half a teaspoon of baking soda. That's a half a cup. The baking soda. A, a half a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon. I always say a half of flavor. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We need a half a cup of baking powder. Which one is baking powder? Very good, Kyla Joy. That's awesome. And we're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt. So where's the salt? Very good. You got it. Give it out a five. Woohoo. All right. Now you can go ahead and add our cup and a half of chopped nuts. Uh, in this case, I did put in pecans, but if you do not like pecans or you cannot get pecans, whatever kind of nut that you like, that'll work really well. Okay, Kayla's going to mix it up really, really good for us, aren't you, Kayla? Yep, I'm already mixing. You're already mixing. You knew the next, you knew the next step, didn't you? How about Nana hold the bowl tight for you? Would that help? And I can help let's you mix. mix that egg in. Oh, let's mix that egg in. That's right. We want that egg really, really mixed in there well, don't we? Is that a tough job? Hmm? Yeah, I can do it. You can do it. I know that you can. The, um, the hardest part is mixing the nuts. Yeah, that does get kind of complicated there. So after Kayla gets this all mixed up and well incorporated, we're going to put it into uh, our mini loaf pans and we're going to be making mini, um, you okay? Yeah. Mini loaf uh, in banana bread. So, oh my goodness. Oh, you're tired. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to continue mixing here until Kayla has this all well mixed together, well incorporated. It may take a little while. <laughs> Yeah, look how much I got in there. Wow, awesome. Okay, Kayla, 
Kayla. So, um, is our banana bread all mixed up? Mm -hmm. Did you do a good job? Mm -hmm. Let's see how well Kayla did. Did she do good? Yes, she did. She did awesome. Okay, uh, what we have done is we've went ahead and sprayed our little muffin pans. Mm -hmm. Did we spray it? Yeah. Yes, we did. And our oven is on 350 and it's already nice and warmed up and ready for our little pans of banana bread. Kayla's going to go ahead and she's going to put our batter into uh, our little loaf pans. Okay, Kayla, you can start putting that in there. And um, you're going to want this you know, about three-fourths full. Good job. Oh, you're going to do it three-fourths full? You can get some more in there and pop it right into our pan. Ooh, that's a big scoop. Look at you go. All right, you're doing good. That's all right, get some more. Woo, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, put it in there. Awesome job, sweetheart. Do you think that's enough in that one? I think it's enough in that one, too. Okay, put your scoop over back in your batter. Good girl, and we're gonna get another pan. We're gonna fill this one up. Okay, Kayla and I are gonna continue filling up these little mini loaf pans and We'll let you see them before we pop them in the oven. Right, sweetheart? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. She's too busy to talk, so. I'm just doing this, so I'm too busy to talk to you guys. Okay, you're just too busy to talk to me? And everybody else, too, huh? Okay. I think that's enough in that one. That's, that's enough in three. that one. Okay. That's a good job. Okay, put the scoop back in the bowl. Okay, Kayla has all of our batter into our little uh, mini loaf pans. Kayla, you want to show them what the batter looks like when it's in the pan? Yes, so we need to stick them in the oven now, don't we, Kayla? Yeah, don't tip it over. We might pour it out. So, <laughs> yeah, that would be good, would it? So did you have fun doing that? Yeah. Uh-huh. And so what's our next step, Kayla? Oven. Oven. The oven, that's right. So we're gonna, I said the oven. So we're going to bake them, right? Uh -huh. Okay, and we're, we put the oven on 350. Now, how long are we going to leave them for, Kayla? How long are they going to stay in the oven? 350. Yes, it, the temperature is 350, but how long are we going to leave them in there? 25 hours. 25 hours. <laughs> Do you think they'd be a little done? Yeah. Yeah, how about let's leave them in for 45 minutes to one hour? And then we're gonna stick a little toothpick in there and if it comes out clean, it is done. So we're gonna put them in for 45 minutes to start with because I don't like to over bake them. So we'll check them at 45 and 50 and 55 and an hour until that toothpick comes out nice and clean. Right, Kayla? Yep. Okay, let's get them in the oven. All right. I'll give you all of them, okay? You're gonna give them all to me and put in the oven? Mm -hmm. All right. Don't put that one. <laughs> Our banana bread just came out of the oven and it smells wonderful. Wonderful, that's right. I'm ready to eat a piece, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> but we're gonna let it cool off and then we're going to uh, take them out of the pan and then we'll let you see what they look like. Okay, Kayla? Yep. And they make Nana's house smell so yummy, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, Kayla's banana nut bread is all done. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now your house smells like banana nut bread. It was a nut bread. Oh, does, is that a good smell? Is it a good smell? Yeah, okay. Um, this is a, an easy recipe and it's, it freezes so easily. Uh, put it in a bag uh, with the name of your bread and the date you put it in and you're good to go and that way if somebody pops over or you just feel like some banana nut bread and don't want to cook, well there you go. You are set. So we appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye now. Bye bye now.